Welcome back. My name is Russell Cottrell, and in this series of videos, we're editing a photo in PhotoLine using curves. This is our image, these are our layers, and in this video, we're going to learn how to use masks. A layer mask enables you to apply an adjustment to just part of an image, and it's what makes adjustment layers so powerful. Here in the layer list, we see our curves layer. This is the curves icon that we can double click to get the curves dialog. This white rectangle to the left of it is a thumbnail of the layer mask. It's white because it's totally transparent, nothing has been masked. Black means total opacity, where nothing shows through, and gray means partial opacity. There's a mnemonic, white reveals, black conceals. Now, before we can start editing the mask, we need to take a little detour and learn how to use the paintbrush. This is the toolbox up here, and this is the paintbrush. When we click it, we get the appropriate settings here in the tool settings. The first thing to notice is the color. We're interested in the foreground color here. If we double click it, we get the color editor. These are all the different ways to select colors. These black and white squares return the colors to the default black on white. These right angled arrows reverse the foreground and background colors, or we can just hit X for X change colors. This box here, double click, lets you set the brush size, hardness, and other features like roundness, angle. The outer radius is the overall size, and hardness is the inner radius. We'll put it somewhere in the middle. Okay, now we can see the outline of the brush around the mouse pointer and we can change its size by holding down the control key, clicking, and moving the mouse. If we have the background layer selected, we'll be painting on the image itself. And since the bare layer is above the background, we'll be painting under the bare. We can change the color. To undo what we've done, we can use Edit Undo, or we can hold down the Control key and press Z over and over. There's actually a panel that shows the Undo list. View, Panels, Undo list. This lets you go back and forth in the Undo steps. The other setting that we're interested in is the Brush Intensity which is the opacity of the brush stroke. If we turn it down to around 50%, for example, and then paint, we can see through the brush stroke. And the strokes are additive. If we keep painting the same area over and over, it gets more and more opaque. Let's undo. Now we're going to paint on the curves layer mask. If we select an adjustment layer, we'll automatically be painting on the mask. That's why adjustment layers are labeled image. The mask is technically a grayscale image. Remember, this layer lightens the shadows and midtones. But what if we had not wanted to apply the adjustment to the sign, for example? If we take a black brush and paint over the sign, we'll be masking the adjustment layer in that area. Now, when we toggle the layer visibility, nothing happens to the sign. Note that the thumbnail now shows the area that's been painted black. To see the full-size mask, right-click the mask, Show Mask. This is useful if you think you may have missed some spots. You can show the mask and tidy it up. You can even use tools like Blur to soften a mask. You can also right-click and disable the mask. Use Adjustment Mask. Now the layer is still visible, but the mask is disabled. You can go back and forth to see the effect of the mask. What if, instead of turning the adjustment off in certain areas, we want to choose just the areas where the adjustment is applied. We can click this button here, Apply to Entire Image, 
and the whole mask gets painted with the brush, which in this case is black. The layer is now completely masked and has no effect. Now we can reverse the colors, making white the foreground, and wherever we paint our adjustment is applied. The white areas of the mask are where the adjustment is showing through. We can also paint with partial intensity. We'll set the brush intensity to around 50%, enlarge the brush, then paint over some more of the foreground. Note that the mask is now gray where we painted it. We can use multiple strokes to fine tune the effect of the adjustment. Another way to undo something is to reverse the brush colors. This is now our mask. If you've ever done traditional darkroom work, you'll be familiar with the concepts of dodging and burning. Dodging means holding back on the exposure in certain areas, while burning means adding more exposure. Adjustment layers plus layer masks allow you to dodge and burn with any tool available, such as increased contrast, decreased saturation, or changing a hue from red to orange. And when you learn how to use layer masks, you will have mastered 90% of image editing. Let's put it all together. We're going to use a layer mask to darken and add contrast to the sky. Create a new curves layer, and while we edit it, we're going to look at the sky and ignore everything else. If we darken the sky, some of the clouds, especially on the right, start to darken as well. So we'll click a bright area in one of the clouds, then lower the lower part of the curve. But this darkens the whole image. So we'll start with an opaque mask, select white for the brush, and apply our adjustment to the sky. When you see the adjustment in its final context, sometimes you want to increase or decrease the effect. That's where layer opacity comes in. And that was layer masks. In the next video, we're going to learn how to use curves to adjust color saturation, which is one of Photoline's specialties. You can't do that with some other photo editors. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Visit pl32.com to download Photoline. Visit russellcultural.com slash photo slash photoline for a more in-depth tutorial on photo editing. And stay tuned for episode 3.